The first trailer for Wonder Woman 1984 is so overloaded with Easter eggs that we can hardly sort the yolk from the shell. That's just a trash can. It's just a trash can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On this IMD Brief, we break down what this very 80s trailer reveals about the DC supervillain Maxwell Lord. With an army of Amazonian lookalikes in tow, Gal Gadot debuted the first trailer for director Patty Jenkins' Wonder Woman 1984 at Sao Paulo's Comic-Con experience. Life is good, but it can be better. Yeah, it could if you finally gave us a peek at Chris Wade going full cheetah in this trailer. So many times, yeah. All the time. Foregoing that, 1984 seems to turn Wiggs' Barbara Ann Minerva into Diana's gal pal, like she was in the Wonder Woman Rebirth comic books before she bumbles upon the ancient ritual that transforms her into Cheetah. Think about finally having everything you always wanted. Or in this film, it sounds like it won't be so accidental, thanks to evil entrepreneur Maxwell Lord, played by Mr. Mandalorian himself, Pedro Pascal, who has been dominating Star Media since the show premiered in mid-November 2019. I like those odds. Believe us, it's him under the helmet, even if he spends most of his time refusing to remove it. In WW84, Pascal will go mask off. I take what I want in return. Lord was introduced in Justice League No. 1 in 1987, and like all of the DC characters who survived the retcons of the New 52, his history has evolved. Lord has been a good guy, a bad guy, a human, a metahuman, and a cyborg, but through it all, he's always been the rich kid son of a mogul and a master manipulator. Aren't you going to read me my rights? Peter Facinelli played Maxwell Lord for season one of Supergirl, but disappeared after the series switched from CBS to the CW. Pascal's take on Lord seems a little more nefarious from the get-go, even if he's promising to give what your heart desires. Stay. Lord is almost certainly behind the impossible resurrection of Steve Trevor. If you haven't watched the OG Wonder Woman, first off, what are you doing watching a breakdown for the sequel's trailer? And secondly, spoiler alert, Steve Trevor's dead. So how does Lord revive Steve? And how does Minerva wig out as Cheetah? Well, the answers probably lie in that magic gemstone that Lord put on his best bow tie to hold. In the comics, Barbara Ann Minerva becomes a feline force in nature thanks to Urz Kartaga, an ancient plant god with designs on domination. With the help of fanatical human Colonel Codulo, Urz Kartaga plans a rebirth in the body of Steve Trevor, before Wonder Woman gets Cheetah to help her stop their Freaky Friday human sacrifice. Stay here, I'll go ahead. Maxwell Lord could stand in for Colonel Codulo's character in the film version. Early fan theories were that Pascal was playing this character before Lord was announced, and be the zealot that the plant god needs to come back in 1984 at a mall that looks shockingly similar to Starcourt from Stranger Things season three, because it is actually the same mall. You've never been shopping before, have you? Well, then I guess we're just gonna have to try everything. And speaking of Stranger Things, when Maxwell Lord uses his psychic powers of persuasion, his nose bleeds a la Eleven. But to take on Lord and his nasal drip, Wonder Woman has her infamous invisible jet from the cartoons, her golden eagle armor straight out of the Kingdom Come comic books, and the new ability to go full Metallica and literally ride the lightning. For more comic book capers from every universe, stay glued to imdb.com slash imdbrief.